kick off your shoes, stay right there, sit yourself down in an easy chair. Buck's gonna give us a taste of the outdoor life. We got ducks to hunt and fish to catch. He might even take us to a shooting match. Let's join Buck for a bit of the outdoor life. Now, if you've been wishing for a little fun, Buck's gonna show us how it's done. There's no better time in the world, you know, than Buck McNeely's outdoor show. We got high adventure with a natural flair. You can see it all from your favorite chair. Let's join Buck for a taste of the outdoor line. The Outdoorsman is brought to you by Outdoorsman International. Connect and subscribe via our social media pages. Welcome to the show, I'm Buck McNeely. This episode takes us to the firing line with three stories. We'll do some firearms training with a couple of fine ladies, then we'll study the history of the AR-15 rifle. We'll then meet a 96-year-old World War II vet and check out his weapons of war. Stay tuned. It all starts right after this break. With so many choices, how do you pick the right dog food? Well, you want real meat to be the first ingredient. And you probably don't want things like chicken byproduct meal or whole grain corn. That makes the choice pretty easy. Blue Buffalo. Pick up blue wherever you buy pet food. Clogged gutters can cause big problems fast. Until now. Call 833-LEAF-FILTER today for your free gutter inspection. I've had terrible flooding problems on my porch. Now I understand why. Right now, Leaf Filter is offering a free inspection on your schedule. Leaf Filter is a permanent gutter solution, so you never have to worry about costly damage from clogged gutters again. Call us today and schedule your free inspection. Save up to 35% with Leaf Filter's Black Friday deals. Call 833-LEAF-FILTER today or visit leaffilter.com. Feeding a high-quality dog food doesn't have to cost a whole lot. For about a dollar a day, you can give your dog the blue buffalo food they deserve. Real meat first, healthy ingredients, natural nutrition. Try Blue Life Protection Formula today. Poshmark is the perfect side hustle. It got me through school, a new job, and getting into my first apartment. There's so much I can sell. Bags, accessories, home decor, and it's so easy to sell on Poshmark. You can do it in a minute. I love it. Louie, stop. Blue does have pretty good ingredients. Like what? Deboned chicken, chicken meal, brown rice, barley, opium. Huh. Why, what's in Beneful? Chicken, whole grain corn, chicken byproduct meal, barley, whole grain wheat. <laughs> Okay, Louie, we'll switch to blue. Success when hunting, fishing, or trapping is found when you're prepared with the right gear and equipment. Whether passing on the tradition or hunting for the trophy of a lifetime, you can rely on the products and experienced staff at j and Outdoors. Locally owned and proudly serving Northwest Missouri for over 10 years. If we protect our natural heritage, there will always be memorable moments in the wild kingdom. I had no idea it was going to be this beautiful. All right, back to the ocean where you belong. I hope you come back here and lay lots of eggs. There you go. <laughs> Adventure takes us to the gun range on my ranch in Missouri, or as I like to call it, the firing line.
Our first story is for the ladies. My wife, LaDonna, and Missouri State Senator Holly Rader join me at the range to practice with their personal concealed handguns. Shooting, like any other activity that requires basic skills, erodes without practice. Everyone, especially you ladies, need to take at least one day a month and shoot. I have great concerns about the safety and security of our families. Our world has become extremely dangerous these last few years. Rioters and looters make our cities high crime zones. Drug cartels flood our nation with deadly fentanyl. Millions of illegal aliens have entered our undefended borders. Wise up to these dangers and resolve to protect your families. Hey, I want you to meet Holly Rader. She is a Missouri state senator and a good friend of the family. In fact, my wife, LaDonna, even worked on her uh, recent political campaign. You're a shooter? Yes. Concealed carry license holder? Absolutely. Pro-life? Yes, very much. Pro-gun, Christian, conservative, American patriot. That's right. <laughs> You're the all-American girl. I'm the all-American girl. <laughs> <laughs> so you got into the political game to actually make some changes and make a difference and not get rich at the expense of the American people, right? That's right. I make my money at home. And and the beauty of that is, is that um, when I'm there, I'm not just warm in a seat. I'm not there just to be in politics. My life is in Southeast Missouri. My favorite title will always be Mama. And when I am there, I'm fighting to make our life better here in Missouri, here in Southeast Missouri, to be able to keep our rural Christian principles alive and, um, and to keep the government off our backs and out of our business, out of our yards, out of our houses. Um, we need a limited government and to do that we're going to have to have more people who are willing to just go up there and fight with everybody if they have to, but come home, make their money at home and their life be at home. Every human being needs to have a concealed carry permit and learn about self-defense, especially the women, they're the most vulnerable. We need to know how to defend ourselves. Whether you're at the gas station because you're traveling at 2 a.m., regardless of what it is, you need to be able to protect yourself and your family. And to do that, um, getting your concealed carry permit is an, a, a very important step because you learn the training, you learn how to handle a gun, um, you learn how important it is, you learn how to be safe with it. You know, I've told women for years that your baseball bat and your pepper spray is only a small first line of defense. So every woman has to have the training and the capability and the ability to use a gun because that is the only equalizer that you gals really have against bad guys. It's empowering to know that you can protect yourself. And I think, that's, I think that's incredibly important. Well, and not only that, you need to practice. Like any other skill, yes, it absolutely. erodes. And that's what we're here to do. You and my wife, LaDonna, are going to do a little practicing with your handguns and get caught up on some of the latest techniques on personal defense. Yes, very much so. I'm looking forward to it. All right, we got these uh, targets at about uh, 10 yards. So this is point blank range. <laughs> Go ahead and uh, take your first uh, shots, aim at your targets, and carefully squeeze off, concentrating on uh, accuracy. That's a good shot. Yep. and open. LD, all right, both of you set your guns down, clear the range.
This is my wife, LaDonna. We've been married 29 years. She's been my life partner, my best friend, my, my buddy, the mother of my two sons. Proud to have you as a wife, LD. Thank you. You're gonna make me cry. <laughs> All right, we're gonna move on to rifles, ladies. I've got something easy for you. This is a 22 caliber semi-automatic. It looks like an AR-15, but uh, it only shoots a 22 long rifle as opposed to the 223 or the 5.56. So we're gonna load you up with a magazine. You got a peep sight on it, and I want you to uh, then line it up with your targets, which we've moved out to about 30, 40 yards. And this is uh, what we're gonna play with next is a uh, 22 caliber semi-automatic rifle. You'll have fun with this. There's no kick, so it's not gonna hurt you. And it's gonna be a lot of fun to shoot. All right. So hang on to that and I will load you a magazine. We'll be like Rambo. Rambo indeed. Yeah. I like this, it don't have no kick at all. Yep, you shot your magazine, so set it to the side there. I do love shooting them. Oh, this, these are good little guns. Yes. Rambo. And, and new shooters need to learn to shoot on 22 caliber rifles, and then they can move up to the big stuff. Companies spend over $70 billion a year on TV advertising. Fact, this TV show, The Outdoorsman, is the largest syndicated adventure series on TV. Over 500 TV stations nationwide broadcast this program on free TV. Is your brand ready to execute on an aggressive new marketing campaign? Contact our team for regional and national opportunities at these numbers. Clogged gutters can cause big problems fast. Until now, call 833 Leaf Filter today for your free gutter inspection. I've had terrible flooding problems on my porch. Now I understand why. Right now, Leaf Filter is offering a free inspection on your schedule. Leaf Filter is a permanent gutter solution, so you never have to worry about costly damage from clogged gutters again. Call us today and schedule your free inspection. Save up to 35% with Leaf Filter's Black Friday deals. Call 833 Leaf Filter today or visit leaffilter.com. Louie! <laughs> Lou does have pretty good ingredients. Like what? Deboned chicken, chicken meal, brown rice, barley, opium. Huh. Why? What's in Beneful? Chicken, whole grain corn, chicken byproduct meal, barley, whole grain wheat. Oh. Okay, Louie, we'll switch to blue. Hey, everybody, fall is back and the leaves are flying. And if you don't have leaf filter, guess where they're going? Into your gutters. And that's going to cause all kinds of problems. We're talking rotten fascia, rotten soffit. Water is hitting your foundation, which could cause thousands of dollars in damage. Call your local leaf filter trusted pros for America's number one gutter protection. And get the water away from your house and out of your life for good. Call us today for a free inspection and estimate. Call 833-LEAF-FILTER or visit leaffilter.com. Feeding a high quality dog food doesn't have to cost a whole lot. For about a dollar a day, you can give your dog the blue buffalo food they deserve. Real meat first, healthy ingredients, natural nutrition. Try Blue Life Protection Formula today. The next disaster is coming. The time to get ready is now. Make a plan. Identify meetup locations and people you'll need to contact. Put your contact list in your wallet, on your phone, and somewhere visible in your home. Build a kit. Store enough food and water for three days. Don't forget your pets. And consider buying a pre-made kit. Keep at least seven days of medication on hand. Work with your pharmacist and insurance company to secure the extra doses. Make copies of important documents. Keep them on your phone, in the cloud, or on a USB stick. Stay informed. Learn about local hazards. 
take courses in CPR and first aid, and sign up for local alert systems. An early warning can give you the time you need to prepare for a fast-moving disaster. Be ready. Learn more at americares.org slash send us in. This is an AR-15 rifle. The anti-gun lobby, politicians, and their establishment media allies call this an assault weapon. These are assault weapons. This is a semi-automatic rifle. You pull the trigger once, and it fires just one round. The action is no different from any other semi-auto rifle, shotgun, or handgun. The history of this rifle goes back to the 1950s. The Armalite Company designed it in 1957 and sold the rights to Colt, who developed the M16 as a full auto military rifle that saw its first service during the Vietnam War. In 1963, the semi-automatic version, also known as the AR-15, was offered for sale to the civilian market. It fires a 5.56 millimeter NATO round. For our civilian use, that's the 223 caliber round with a 55 grain bullet. We decided to accessorize this SIG M400 rifle. The stock rifle was fitted with a SIG CP4 scope. It features four times magnification and an illuminated reticle. The gun is fitted with Picatinny rails that allow a variety of tools to be quickly attached. Butler Creek flip-up caps protect the scope's lenses. We installed a single point sling. This attaches to the rear of the receiver and facilitates a quick mount and fire application. We also mounted a Crimson Trace MVF 600. This is a vertical foregrip with an integrated laser and flashlight controlled by these front mounted buttons. You can operate both devices at the same time or individually. I like the strobe feature on the flashlight. This is designed to disorient a potential target. A bipod can be quickly mounted on the front. The legs fold forward when not in use and snap into place when required. There's a variety of magazines you can utilize. The 223 cartridges are double stacked in the magazines that hold 10, 30, or 42 rounds. Check out this 100 round drum magazine. I mixed up a batch of exploding target powder. Check out the results. Dangerous ladders, gutter muck. Ugh, no wonder you hate cleaning your gutters. Good thing there's leaf filter. Our patented filter technology keeps leaves and debris out of your gutters forever. Guaranteed. Call 833-LEAF-FILTER to get started and get the permanent gutter solution that ends clogs for good. They took the time to answer all of our questions. They really put us at ease. End clogged gutters for good. Call 833-LEAF-FILTER or visit leaffilter.com today. All right, time to do some selling. That's going towards rent. Oh yeah, that's going towards girls' night. And that's going towards a new bag. Your closet is worth more than you realize. Download the Poshmark app and start cashing in today. 
Feeding a high quality dog food doesn't have to cost a whole lot. For about a dollar a day, you can give your dog the blue buffalo food they deserve. Real meat first, healthy ingredients, natural nutrition. Try Blue Life Protection Formula today. Hi, I'm Susan Lucci. I never thought about heart disease until I had my own heart event. At first, like so many other women out there, I ignored my symptoms. A slight pressure on my chest, shortness of breath. I thought, I don't have time to be sick. I had a, a 90% blockage in my main artery and a 75% blockage in the adjacent artery. I received two stents in my arteries, stents developed through research funded by the American Heart Association. Those stents saved my life. I'm so grateful to the American Heart Association. Their research helped save my life. I can enjoy life with my children, my grandchildren, and my friends. Please, listen to your heart. The only reason I'm here today is because I did. Learn more about the American Heart Association's life-saving work at helpheart.org. Dear moms and dads, we know it's not always been easy it's been a lot of hard work. It's not worth what you have achieved here today is going to help us and our futures. It's not worth it is why we are coming up on stage to collect your diplomas. They graduate. Visit finishyourdiploma.org to find free and supportive adult education centers near you. Meet Neil McCormick. He's a World War II vet and is my wife's stepfather. He's been in the family for over 20 years and we are proud of him. He still enjoys life and has attended some of Max's fights. I want you to meet Neil McCormick. He's a World War II vet and you are 96 years old now, is that correct? 96. What an incredible life you've led. Yep. Now, you were in Patton's Army right. in Europe, and you stayed with the campaign all the way through right. to the conclusion and the surrender of Nazi Germany. Right. I was a mortar gunner, yeah. Yeah. And my job was to, to zero in on the target. And when I got zeroed in on it, I get a command to fire. And the assistant gunner's one that did the firing. That's he the pulled the lanyard. He's, he's one that done it. Hey, I brought some artifacts here to check out from World War II, including a GI helmet. Does that look familiar? It sure does. <laughs> sure yeah, does. and this one is fully intact with the liner and everything. Yeah. Did you guys used to sit on these a lot? Yeah, well, we, we used to use them to shave in, too. Really? Yeah. We'd go across the uh, uh, body of water. We'd fill that full of water, and that, and that, that was our shaving. Rugged piece of equipment right there with yeah. multiple uses, right? Yeah, yeah. Now, this is a bayonet for the M1 rifle. Remember those? Yes, I do. I remember them well. Did you sharpen yours every day? No. No? I never did sharpen it. <laughs> <laughs> That's a pretty cool piece. And then there's the canteen that you guys carry. Yeah, I carried that all the time. That's right. How many canteens did you carry? One. Just one? Just one. Okay. We'd, get our, we'd get our water off of the half track. Okay. We carried, carried water on the half track, and we'd fill that up 
out of the half track water. Probably several times a day, huh? Several, yeah, yeah. Does that look familiar? It sure does. Sure does. The pineapple grenade. Yep. There's the spoon. That, that's what we called it. The pineapple? We'll call it pineapple. You hold the spoon, pull the pin, and you got five seconds to launch it. Right. Right. You <laughs> thrown a few of those in your day? A few of them. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's the American equipment there. Here's some German stuff. They called this the potato masher. You ever run into any of those? We found a creek full of them. These here would go in the creek after they fired them. Then they'd get rid of this into the creek. And we saw a bunch of stuff coming down the creek one day. And we went out there and looked, and it was a bunch of these. The oh, handles only. Yeah. The tops had been blown, right? Yeah, they'd been yeah. blown. And they got rid of this. So they threw them in the creek. Yeah. After they uh, ignited, that was what was left over. Must have been a heck of a battle near that creek. I don't think they could use them but once. Yeah, probably not. Uh, the way it's screwed into the uh, yeah, end there, it was a one-use thing. You, you pull the pin, pull yeah. it, and that was it. Yeah. I, I would think between the two types of grenades, the, uh, the potato masher with the handle on it would give you just a little more range and accuracy. What do you think? I, I say so too. But I never did use that one. I have this one. Yeah. But I never did use that one. Now, this is the uh, German helmet. I'm yeah. sure you saw quite a few of those back in the day. Yeah, I sure have. Yeah. Yeah. That's in my personal collection right there. Here's a picture of you back in your heyday when you were a soldier. And there's a picture there also of your brother who fought in World War II, and he was killed at the Battle of the Bulge, is that correct? Right, right, he was killed at the Battle of the Bulge. It was on Christmas Eve, to be exact. Yeah. <laughs> now, I've got something very special that I want to show you. Neil, do you remember this firearm? Yes. Yeah, that was one. I didn't carry this, but I carried a carbine because I was a, I was a, a gunner, you know, right. and I couldn't handle both. The M1 Garin shot a 30 6 caliber cartridge, yep. and this was the main battle rifle of U.S. military troops in Marines, Army, Navy. Everybody had this rifle. Would you like to fire one? I could. <laughs> I don't know if I could not. I bet you could. I brought some ammo, and, and I've never fired one before, so I want to fire it and I want to let you fire it also. All right. All right. I like this gun, Neil. All right. You want to uh, take a shot? No, no, I don't believe so. You don't believe you don't want the recoil? No. At 96 know. years old, you're not quite ready for the recoil, huh? I'm too old for that. <laughs> Neil. Thank you for joining me today. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you for having us. Absolutely. It's been a very good day. My gratitude for Neil McCormick and all the American veterans that have proudly served our country. God bless you all. Military artifacts provided by Advanced Guard Militaria. Contact them at these numbers. The Outdoorsman is brought to you by Outdoorsman International. Connect and subscribe via our social media pages.